gentlemen, thank you very Let's much. Go boys, hey. Let's go, boys! Let's go! Look at him 
Lock it, Lucas, on the eight. Lock it in. Any seconds, you're on it. Well, Simon, fantastic result. You must be happy with today's performance. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, the important thing today was the performance. I think with non-league day, people paying a pound to get in, um, I just said to him at the end, um, what you've done is put on a show for 150 potential new supporters. And that's really important for the club, and I think they should be proud of that. Um, we, we spoke on Tuesday about getting some momentum going. Um, three points today. Great performance. There were some really key performances out there. The defence was solid. Yeah. Going forward, we were really quick. You must be happy with that. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the back four, kind of, I think that was that for me was better than the attacking because we looked solid. Um, we, we know people like AJ, Pammy, with the pace they got, were going to cause problems. Um, but I thought, collectively, through the team, I thought we were outstanding. Michael coming into it. He's coming up a league. Um, and, and it's a different pace, it's a different pace football, but I thought he'd done great for his debut as well. I was going to mention Michael, obviously we spoke very briefly after the game, you've got a connection with Michael, you, you, you've known him from when he was a young player, can you yes, tell us a bit more so about I've it? I've had Michael at, at the academy at Three Bridges since he was 15, um, then he obviously went on to his screen stint, where he's had a good 18 months, but um, I've kind of kept following him and obviously when this opportunity came up sort of thing, I wanted to, I, I said to him, he's, he's good enough for it, whether he believed that, um, or whether he still believes that is, is what we'll see in the next few weeks but he could be an integral uh, player for the group Moving back again to today's performance you said about the pace going forward <clears throat> there was a lot of chances created probably should have scored some more goals don't want to be over critical no, but absolutely. the encouraging thing there was a lot of chances absolutely. created Absolutely uh, to be honest with you I think Pammy and I think AJ were unplayable today I think on the ball, I thought they caused them so much problems. It was unbelievable. Um, and obviously, Gary Sharman's come in for, for Popey because he has an infected knee. And I thought Gary caused them all sorts of problems. So, we, like I say, as a group, we had, it had to be a group. It wasn't any one individual. It was uh, as a team effort. I thought everyone worked their socks off. 
don't want to put you on the spot, but yeah. a lot of the supporters are saying is what's different. Same set of players seem to be performing. Is that something you're able to answer? Um, obviously, we changed the formation. Um, we're kind of uh, coming away from Bogner. We kind of looked at it and stuff like that, and I think that's a difference. And I don't know. I don't know to be honest. I just prepare the players. What I just said to them out there. All we can do is put you to the white line. Once you go over it, I ask them for energy and desire today, and I got that in abundance. Three points today. We move on. Another league fixture on Tuesday. Wingate and Finchley at home. Have you got any any thoughts on that game? Um, not at the moment. No. I think we have to approach it one game at a time. They won today. Um, and I think Corinthians won today, so it made our, our result even more important today. Um, when we come to Tuesday, we'll, we'll, uh, we've had uh, see a report done again on them, that we, uh, Wingate that we played Tuesday, and we'll approach it individually as we come.